Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out Carl's host on the ESP32 S2 board. Um, he did go ahead and update it with the latest Goal 10, which is version 2.1.1. He also fixed the cache issue. If you were having problems caching the trainer page, well, that is fixed now. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it and uh, see how well it works here. So we'll go over to our settings. You can see that I don't have the goal 10 options and I don't have uh, debug settings. Now we'll go up to our network and we'll go ahead and make sure that we do have connect to the internet checked and then we'll go ahead and click on set up internet connection. We use Wi-Fi and go to easy. Now I already have my board uh, flashed with the latest file so I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and grab that file and just go ahead and flash your board with it. But once it does come up with your Wi-Fi connections, we'll go ahead and select Caro, and then we'll type in the password. Now it's just the same as always, one to eight. So we'll go ahead and put that in. And then we'll go ahead and hit done, and then okay. Give it a few moments here just to finalize the connection. And then we'll wait for it to check network environment. And there we go. We're good to go. So we'll go ahead and back out. You can go in through user guide or you can use the web browser. I do recommend using the web browser for the first time just so you can go in and clear everything. Um, you might be using the old host. You just want to update because it, it will install it into the cache. So you want to get the latest files. So we'll go ahead and open it. Do the usual. Close the first window. Go ahead and delete all. And go into our browser history. Clear that as well. And then we'll go into our settings and delete cookies and clear our website data. Now, once that is done, just need to back out and just go ahead and relaunch the browser. It will redirect to the host. And as you can see, the cache is installing now. It shouldn't take too long. 10% uh, there now. It is going pretty quick. So we'll give it a few moments here. Maybe 60 seconds or so. There we go. 30%. There is quite a few trainers in there. and It's a lot of images so it can take a little bit of time. I find these little modules or these little boards, whichever you want to call it, they're not really the greatest for transferring data. Um, you're not going to get any high speeds off them, but they do serve their purpose, and they work very well. So there's almost 80% there now. Okay, 90%. And there we go, 100%. So we can go ahead and just hit our PlayStation button just to close out the browser and we'll go ahead and relaunch it. Okay, and as you can see the trainer page does come up. Everything loads in fine. If we go ahead and check the top here you can see the latest update which is 502.20.22. But let's go ahead and do the jailbreak. We'll click on 900 give it a few moments and this is the ESP32 S2 so it's automatically going to launch the uh, the emulation of the USB drive so there's no need to plug in a USB drive and unplug it it does it automatically for you so load in XFAT hack now give it a few seconds there we go the USB storage file system is unsupported and jailbreak should be done so now that is done we're going to go and click on Goal 10 2.1.1. Just go ahead and select it. Give it a few seconds and it should load with no issues. There we go. 2.1 load it. And the FTP server does come up as well as bin loader because I do have that in the configuration. So let's go ahead and just launch Orbis's toolbox just to show you that it does launch with no issues. Okay, and Orbis's toolbox loaded. There we go. So we can go ahead and hit the PlayStation button. 
and you can see Orbis's toolbox load with no issues at all. The cache loaded, everything is fixed, guys. Um, if you do have a ESP32 S2 board, I'm pretty sure, in my opinion, that's probably the best board right now to have. Um, I know that you can do a lot with the the other boards. You can solder up uh, the auto mount for the USB, but these here boards here, they don't require anything to just plug in and play. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm going to leave the video at that, guys. I just want to jump on and uh, show you that uh, that it works okay and the cache has been fixed. I know a lot of people have been asking about the cache, um, but now it's fixed. So you can go ahead and try it out for yourself. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you're wondering what was uh, fixed with the new Goal 10, just uh, fixed multiple injections. Um, other than that there, no, that's about it, guys. So I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. The more likes we get, the more it's viewed on YouTube. That's the way it works. And uh, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.